Hi guys. For the first video as part of our niche gold making series, uh, niche gold making from A to Z or whatever I ended up calling it at the end of everything, uh, we're going to start of course with the letter A. And in this case, A stands for Arcanite. And let's talk about what we're going to do with this. Uh, first off, we need a recipe. We need two professions and we need a recipe. Well, need is a strong word. You need an alchemist. It would help to be a miner as well. And it just so happens that the warlock that I pretend doesn't exist is both of these things. So Bayaki here is going to show us how to make Arcanite. So first we need the recipe, which Bayaki does not have. And in fact, a lot of alchemists don't have. So we're going to go ahead and discuss how to get it. Now, if you're in New Dalaran, which this character wasn't because he's like level 87 or something like that. Uh, if you're in New Dalaran, just do go to the Veil of Eternal Blossoms portal. Actually, I think there might be a Caverns of Time portal in the main entrance. Anyways, basically, bottom line, get to Tenaris in the most efficient way it is for you to get to Tenaris. Um, I think that there might be a Caverns of Time portal in New Dalaran, but I'm not sure. So if there isn't, you can take the, the uh, Caverns of Time portal in Old Dalaran, which is what I'm taking. Bottom line, though, Tenaris is our goal. Does anyone else have really long loading screens? Anyhow... So as I, I guess I can use this loading screen to talk about what we're actually doing. Uh, Arcanite bars. Arcanite bars take thorium bars and arcane crystals, and um, you actually transmute these bars. And the reason they're still in demand is because they're needed to make both, both sulfurous as well as make thunder fury. So, uh, and then also a few other um, popular modeled uh, transmog weapons like the Arcanite Reaper and things like that. Um, and so they're, they're, they're of value for that as well. But basically what I've noticed and what I experienced on by myself is that when people get their, um, when people get that drop that they need, either the Thunder Fury bindings or the Eye of Sulphurus, they do not want to wait. They do not want to go out to Silithus and farm up all their own arcane crystals and not purple parlor. Caverns of Time. Um, and they don't want to farm up all their own arcane crystals or all their own thorium and find an alchemist. So they will typically pay particularly high prices for arcane, uh, for arcanite, which you need like 50 of, I think, for each weapon. I know you need 50 for one of them. Anyways, you need a lot, bottom line. Now, notable, and so in order to make this, you transmute thorium bars and arcane crystals. Arcane crystals are a gem that's kind of of that in that same thorium level. However, it is unique in that you cannot prospect for it. You only get it from mining. And so if you were really bored, you could just farm arcane crystals. Uh, a lot of people like to do it in Silithus. Seems to be the popular place now that we can fly to mine those. Um, but... What I like to do is I set up a shopping list in TSM uh, and I just uh, snatch cheap arcane crystals whenever they pop out. Because a lot of people say, what is this crap? I don't need this. Uh, this is low level, uh, low level gems. I can't cut it in anything. Why would I want this? I'll just pop it up for 10 gold, see what happens. And so I tend to snatch a few here and there. Unfortunately, now that you don't have to mine low level stuff to level mining, it doesn't happen nearly as often, but it still does happen. Okay, so let's get our recipe. It's in one of these buildings. Building, building, who's got our recipe? Um, it's been so long since I did one of my recipe runs, I honestly don't remember where the alchemy vendor is. Our al let's see here, when in doubt, just target someone named Alchemist. He's gotta be around here somewhere. There he is. He is in this building right here. Alchemist Pestle Zug. He will sell us a few recipes. This Salt Philosopher Stone recipe, by the way, sells really well too. Um, but the heat, this is the recipe we want Transmute Arcanite. You should really be a transmutation alchemist, by the way, in order to take advantage of this. If you don't already have that specialization, you can do a quest in. Um, in Stormwind or Orgrimmar in order to get it. Okay, so now we know how to transmute Arcanite. So let's transmute some Arcanite. Back to Stormwind with us. All right, so like I said, I recommend having the, um, the gems on a snatch list and thorium for that matter as well. But just for the purposes of this video, let's, uh, let's take a look at this arcane. All right, I can spell arcane. Arcane, <laughs> wow. 
You can tell that it's two in the morning. Okay, so Arcane Crystals, 110 gold a piece. A little bit pricey for sure, which is why I recommend having them on a snatch list. However, let's go ahead and take a shot. 550 gold for Arcane Crystals. Thorium. Now, thorium can be an ore or bar form, obviously, and that's why it helps to be a miner is because you can take advantage of whatever's cheapest. However, lucky us, looks like bars are cheapest, so that's going to save us some time. So we'll buy up some cheap bars. We spent 550 gold on arcane crystals and about 20 gold on thorium bars. So all in all, we're 570 gold in. Let's transmute some bars. Arcanite. We need a philosopher's stone. Shit. This is why that uh, this is why that recipe sells well because people think, oh, I need a philosopher's stone, and they try and make that without realizing that your normal alchemist stone counts as that. So here's my alchemist stone, which for some reason was not in my bags, but this will also count as an alchemist stone. So Arcanite, and as will the one that you can upgrade with obliterum nowadays if you're um, max. I think so. Let's make some arcanite bars. One, two, three. Four, five, no procs, sad day. Oh well, now we can see worst case scenario, right? We didn't get our stuff cheap from a snatch list. We did not proc anything with our transmute spec alchemist. We bought everything right when we wanted to craft. We spent mm, 570 gold, correct? 570 gold. We're going to sell these for 1,443 gold on my, ser on my server's current prices. Um, these will move a little bit slow because it isn't until that person gets that drop that they wanted that they're going to come out and buy it, but that person will buy out everything on the auction house to get their, their legendary faster. To the point that honestly, I could probably post these for 500 gold because they need more than the other two that are on the auction house, so they'd buy both of ours, high or low. But basically, bottom line is even going on my service prices, we just basically tripled our gold with Arcanite. Yeah, like I said, it is a slow moving market, so you can't just have this going all the time, but have a stack of 50 up. You know, always have a stack of 50 up just in case someone gets that drop they've been waiting for, and you get that gold that you've been waiting for. I hope you guys enjoyed this. There's a lot more videos to come, at least 25 of them, because I'm going to make a niche gold making video for every letter of the alphabet, and I've got so many ideas for some letters, I'm already planning a season two. So be sure you're subscribed for future gold making tips uh, and niche gold making ideas. Thanks so much, guys. Have a great day.